All right, welcome back. This is Tech, Tech Talk episode number 67. How I knew the election was hour, over hours before the mainstream media told everyone. This is recorded on November 9th, 2016. Well, welcome to the new era of American history and politics. Uh, whether you vote for Trump or Clinton or someone else, uh, I'm pretty sure this election is certainly going to impact uh, your life, uh, probably more so than any previous election. And uh, we're going to talk about all, all that in today's episode and because much of it's actually technology related so uh and a value and um i'm sure this this episode is going to be a value to anybody and everyone regardless of your political leaning here so a uh, little recap uh tech top episode number 66 the last, previous one is a special report on hillary clinton and email gate uh basically i brought up how how clinton dnc and others lied about their email scandal they, they, <laughs> it's their own fault. They're trying to cover everything up, and really, it came back um, after the fact with this election. It came back to bite in the ass. So it is a must see, must hear episode to go back on that and see what's going on. Uh, also, we're going to finish up on the Bitcoin series episodes very soon here. Uh, we have an, uh kind of a a unique timing event here with the election, so I gotta squeeze the come these little. A couple of these little episodes in here uh, with regard to the elections and stuff like that. So kind of important stuff and won't be able to do this for another four years. So uh, we'll get back on track with those Bitcoin stuff here soon. And also get back with some more helpful technical advice and, and tips for your business as well. So we'll get back to, trust me, we'll get back to all that so stuff clears out. Uh, before it goes to today's topic, um, let me um, do some announcements first and, um, and then we'll get to the details. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for listening as well as uh, watching. And if you're listening on iTunes or Android podcast, uh, please you know rate my show and uh, submit a review because really appreciate that. It helps me helps the grow show the, the the show grow over there. Get more listeners. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave some comments, some questions, kudos, and all that stuff there. If you need to find us at all, uh, go to primeconsoles.net. Where you see links to the podcast show, uh, the YouTube channel, everything else, plus a lot, lots of information. Got some some free tutorials on uh, eat, um, uh, on eat, um, small business email, small business marketing online. Um, great stuff there. Um, either way, you know, please pass a word, uh, share this episode, go to primecons.net, review past episodes, and. Um, and act, leave some comments, access podcast address, all great stuff there. So, again, again, thanks for listening and watching. Now, let's get to the fun part. Uh, so, the the um, episode is how I knew the election was over before ML the mainstream media told everyone. Uh, the story here is uh, my basically my my Hillary Clinton um, friends, supporters of Hillary Clinton friends, reacted to my so-called pred predictions last night. And they were pretty smug about it. Um, quite a few of them. We're going to bear everything here. We're going to kind of touch those you folks there later on the show here. But uh, this particular one was pretty smug about everything. And uh, he was pretty upset that I was able to somehow, somehow predict something that he didn't. And uh, and uh, he won actually a screenshot of my post. And he's obviously, because uh, he thought, well, you know, it's not going to turn this way. And, uh, you know, Clinton's going to win. But obviously, he was proven wrong. And I haven't heard back from him yet. So, uh, so what happened? So, you know, um, I was getting... I don't use mainstream media uh, uh, TV to get my... I, had, I have ran several different sources on my uh, online here to get my information. I get it much, much faster, much, much more accurate. And, um, in fact, I only watched... CNN uh, and Wolf Blitzers particularly because I want I love watching him melt down. It was so funny, and because I just don't like the guy. Uh, so it was my all my effort was predominantly online, and I was getting really fast. Got a lot of stuff. I, you know, I pretty much knew that the election was done over with by about six thirty um, Pacific time last night. Uh, before the uh, polls closed in California. And uh, I didn't really stress about what uh, mainstream media reports was because I didn't watch TV, so it, it didn't. Uh, I didn't get into the all that all, all that um, all that drama they had on TV. 
so it was cool. I said, yeah, it's over. You know, try to open Trump one and move on to life here. But I thought it was funny. And it, it uh, when I looked at Wolf Blitzer, and I actually I jumped on the Fox a little bit. But it was looked like it was staged. <laughs> you know, I it's kind of, I'm looking at, I, we already know it's done. And they're sitting here jumping up and down and, and pushing these little color maps around, stuff like that, and make it like they're important, like they have something important to say. And it, it really, it was just, it would just comical from my perspective so you know what it comes down to, am i some type of a and it, I, I guess they called it 11 o'clock 11 30 so about five six hours after i already knew okay um and i kind of posted online on my facebook page and all this stuff say so, hey, it's one it, a lot of my friends are getting upset and all this stuff so anyway so let me go back what happened so no, well, actually, am I some type of fortune teller? Okay, is a, probably a good question here. And, um, you know, should I go to Vegas and, with my 100% accurate prediction of what happened? Um, you know, what do I know that my friends didn't know? And including uh, my Hillary Clinton um, friend who who's a misinformed uh, fortune teller. You know... As I mentioned, I really stopped watching, relying on mainstream media, you know, years and years ago. Uh, I'm a Ron Paul supporter, and even back in 2008, I knew that MSM wasn't telling the truth. You know, they they were skewing everything. You know, and for example, the uh, the the previous election, Ron Paul did, he was packing venues and college arena and, and college campuses. Just and and we're talking. Um, uh, the places that are traditionally liberal, for instance, UC Berkeley, he put over six thousand people listening to them at a at a rally, that was never covered in mainstream media. Uh, so this guy here now, recently you get you have uh, Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, which overwhelmed Ron Paul. But at the time, Ron Paul was just blowing it out of the water, and nothing was covered by mainstream media. Said. So frustrated me at least, pissed me off actually. Okay, so I just said screw you. In fact, really probably 2008 i just stopped watching it i stopped relying on it because from my perspective they're just full of shit so uh, so i relied on uh, more on online um on uh, resources and there's a lot of them out there thousands and thousands so i collect information from all different aspects different opinions and and, and uh, you get enough of it uh, the, the things start to line up you know you find the the truth kind of just kind of rises to the top so on top of that, with what I do in my day job, I have to have factual information, okay? I do techie stuff, and opinions don't work. Facts have to work. And so I have to uh, collect the facts to work with what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, and also, if it, it's with, if you don't have those facts, it's too easy for what I, and what I do to get proven wrong, because things just don't work, okay? And on top of that, there's always some another, another guru around the corner that's a little bit smarter than you and all that. You gotta prove you're wrong. So you gotta be on top of your game. So that's just the way I'm naturally um, designed my brain as it, it, it far as that way. So, and uh, also with my, uh, with what I've been doing, what's called SCADA systems, wrong information can end up being having creating dangerous results. Uh, the systems we put together for, for water and wastewater systems, we can't do it. We can't go wrong. We have, can't have have bad information. Otherwise, uh, things happen. You know, the poop gets <laughs> get wrong spot and water doesn't go and and people don't get showers and stuff like that. So you got to be on on top of everything. So facts is where it's at. Um, and so I do, and then I can parlay that into other stuff. You know, what I'm doing here, the podcast shows stuff like that. So I do a lot of research. To support all my findings you know and actually it's pretty easy thanks to the internet you know it, it's it, you've got a lot of aggregate stuff i can aggregate together and, and find out pretty quick um what's facts and what's what's fiction or what's opinions so and that's probably the reason why um my podcast shows and youtube channels here it takes a little bit for me to put this together for this little 20 30 minutes worth worth of stuff here um it could be um, an hour or two worth. In fact, it took a good hour just to, just to collect all the information. So, uh, so anyway, so that's why I kind of do only once a week, and that's got to be picked up here. The page picked up here fairly soon here. So, anyway, 
last night I streamed several online sources to, you know, to see what's going on with the uh, with the election here. You know, new media sites uh, like this is a, uh, Brett Bart, Got News, Reddit, uh, forums, and lots of what's called IRC chat, which is kind of an older technology, but uh, would really be realized a lot during this election. Um, so this is kind of a real chat stuff, old school chat stuff that's um, still used a lot. So uh, through IRC chat, I'm getting a flood of real-time information from hundreds of sources. And uh, I knew what was going on, on the ground pretty much anywhere. In fact, I watched New Hampshire uh, come within like 15 points, uh, 15 votes um, last night. It was insane just watching and listening what's going on. And we know which um, congressional districts were still coming in. And frankly, I was that's probably one thing I, I um, predicted wrong was um, I looked at the information and seeing that it was predominantly Trump supporters, Trump areas out there still left, I had thought that Trump would, de, would take New Hampshire. In fact, honestly, I'm not sure if that New Hampshire flipped to one way or the other here, but it was really, really close. So, um, so I'm always seeing this stuff real time and seeing it from the, on literally on the ground. So, um, so anyway, um, I was, and on top of that, here's something else here too. My best source, <laughs> this is going to be funny here, for those of you who are Hillary Clinton um, supporters, my best source is the New York Times, of all things. I mean, they had an awesome real-time uh, reporting system that you can get down to the precincts and find out what's going on. Um, and they review uh, historical stuff, all kinds of stuff. Now, Fox had a similar system on their site, but I chose New York, New York Times because... Frankly, they hated Trump, so they instantly they they would instantly be they're instantly vetted if Trump was winning. <laughs> so um, so I didn't have to guess whether it is uh, the information getting from the New York Times was was factual or not. It would be fact if they were claiming that Trump was winning. It would be fact. But likewise, if Clear Clinton was winning, I'd probably lean towards the the Fox information. But in fact, I had both mold, but Jared Trump and the New York Times was was the most reliable. Um, so that all that all this information, I knew it was the, the the election was over like early evening, like six o'clock, six thirty. In fact, it was um, um, way before California was called. You know, before the California um, polls were closed, and um, I was surprised that my friends were like still freaking out. Cause and and I did I just realized that they were listening to mainstream media, so they're getting all excited. Uh, especially with oh, when California or in Oregon, um, their polls closed and within five ten minutes. They called it for, uh, and they do this all the time. They the, the the mainstream media called it for Clinton. So everybody, go, oh my God, Hillary Clinton's catching up! Ah! <laughs> I'm like, going God, <laughs> and so uh, so there she's catching up. She's catching up. So but I knew is irrelevant because all, all the other Clinton had already acquired enough enough. Um, even projected uh, states in electoral votes to win. And California and Oregon were, frankly, irrelevant, unfortunately. So I started posting results uh, really from the New York Times on on my f Facebook feed here. And I soon got attacked by Hillary Clinton supporters. And um, I found it ironic considering the source I was getting it should be from their camp. <laughs> and, and, and so... I uh, and then it is well, you know, it, it, you you don't know what you're doing. It says, well, this has come to the New York Times. It's, it's they hate Clinton. Uh, uh, they hate Trump. Uh, so anyway, um, they, and you know, nobody wouldn't believe me, even though my prediction, my so-called prediction, was dead on. And it's because it was New York Times giving me this prediction. Um, so it was crazy. And so here's something else here too. If I had Fox had this, this information is is easily accessible. Uh, Wolf Blitzer and the rest of the mainstream media, they had to know what I knew. And like I said, I was watching Wolf Blitzer, and he was basically jumping up and down, like, like you know, he's just coming up with all kinds of stuff just to fill some time to say something. 
And he was full of shit. Um, I'm sorry here. And, and, you know, he basically strung everybody on until late night until they finally called it. And um, so it was just crazy from my perspective. It seems like I was three, four hours ahead of, of, of everybody else in the country. Uh, in regards to the election, I mean, I slept comfortable last night. It, I didn't worry about anything, uh, largely because I knew what what the outcome was. Um, okay, so anyway, what does all this mean? You know, let's get back to what does it mean to for you as a business owner and, and all that stuff. Is um, frankly, mainstream did bit, bit, uh, the mainstream media is, is dead or dying. You know, they lied to everybody. They they are proven to be propaganda machines and irrelevant when it comes to the truth. Um, and this election cycle very much proved there was very much mainstream media over new media. Okay? Where Trump has been a trap champion of internet media, you know, Twitter and everything else, where Clinton uh, pretty much controlled mainstream media. And uh, quite frankly, mainstream media lost. And this actually parlayed over to other elections, non-presidential elections and local elections, stuff like that, where, where they exhibit basically similar results. Uh, new media, internet media, social networking, whatever you want to call it, is it, it prevailed over traditional mainstream media. Okay? And um, now let me kind of address the Hillary Clinton supporters out there uh, directly about this stuff here. Um, and you're probably not going to believe me. And... That's okay, but you still need to hear this. Uh, first of all, and, and I want to emphasize that um, there, to Hillary Clinton supporters, not just the Democrats, but Hillary, okay. First of all, you've been very mean, many of you have been very mean to anyone who's not Hillary Clinton supporter, okay. Most of the election cycle, I was not a Trump supporter. Uh, in fact, I was a J Gary Johnson. I was a libertarian all this. Um and so, just because, and I, I, I forgot how many times I was harassed, attacked, whatever you want to call it, um, um, uh, questioned, I'll be, put it blindly here, because I did not support Hillary Clinton, and um, those of you out there had taken what you've heard and um, presented them as so-called facts to me, which they weren't, okay? Um, I don't know, many are still very bitter, I see a lot of cussing, swearing, and disrespectful stuff online. And, you know, perhaps time will, will heal all that. But let me tell you something here. First of all, I'm not your enemy. And neither are anybody else who is our non Hillary Clinton supporters. Okay? In fact, something else I, I, I should uh, should t say here, too. I just uh, listened to, to Hillary Clinton's concession speech. And I was very surprised at how gracious... As respectable she was. In fact, if she had been that way during her campaign, I might have voted for her. Okay, but I guess it's too little, too late. So now I want to add here too. It's not your fault. Okay, you and everybody else was led to believe in lies by the mainstream media. Okay, they told you not to listen to anyone else, and it was it would they kind of uh, kind of create a cult like following to all this, which, you know, it is very difficult to break from, which you're so, uh, so, uh, have that taken, um, uh, taken an investment in, into that type of thinking. It's very difficult to, to unthink that. Okay. It's going to take some real, some time to realize what happened. All right. Uh, options, op opinions will change, but facts will prevail. And that's something that, that, that that's going to be beneficial. See, somewhere down the line, time's going to heal all wounds. And we're all going to understand that we all, we all have been, tr people try to dupe us. Okay? And it comes down that uh, last night, mainstream media lost. They lost last night. They're proven to be ineffective. They have lied to us. They lied to you. They don't deserve our support. And they, we can't, we don't no longer need to, we need to don't we don't let them, we need to make sure they don't let them tell you or us how to think anymore okay the internet equates to freedom access to facts and opinions for many people and hopefully it stays that way and where you can seek the truth if you so desire okay so anyway 
Uh, I'm hoping this is going to be the last of the political stuff. I might do one more. I don't know. So, um, in summary, you know, it's time to tell the mainstream media, to, frankly, to go to hell. And they no longer control us. They will not separate this country anymore. And also, our country is entering a new era. And where we all have to work together to make our country great again. So, in closing... I, uh, that's my summary, but um, I will not, I'm not some crazy, some, some intricate uh, fortune teller. I just simply knew how to find the facts and present them. So there's no secret, no, no magic to what I did. It's accessible to all you folks out there too. Uh, the question is, do you? And that's up to you. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for listening and watching. And until next time, good luck and Godspeed to your online success.